Hello, this is Todd Hubbs, Agricultural Economist at the University of Illinois. Today I'm going to be discussing my September 4th weekly outlook. Will the 2018 corn crop get smaller? There's been a lot of discussion recently about possible corn yield this year, with many industry analysts placing the national average corn yield below the current USDA estimate of 178.4. Uh, today I'm going to discuss a little bit about what we've seen in crop conditions and historical crop progress and what that means for possible corn yield in 2018 and also I'll be discussing planted and harvested acreage because that's a variable related to the corn crop as well. In this graph I'm showing the corn crop conditions weekly for the 2018 crop year starting in week 21. As we all know, crop, corn crop conditions provided by NASA are not a perfect um, variable for predicting corn yield, but it gives, does give a nice indication of where the crop stands. What we've seen this year is good to excellent conditions have declined from a high of 79 as seen on the right hand side axis in week 21 down to 68 as of week 34, which was last week basically converging close to the five-year average for good to excellent conditions. What you also notice is that the very poor and poor have grown over the last few weeks. So this sort of provides some support for the idea that the corn yield may not be as good as the USDA is currently projecting, despite what we've seen as a strong start to the crop year. Um, additionally, we saw a quite quick maturing crop this year. And in the next slide, I'll talk a little bit more about what that might mean for yield as we move forward. In this slide, what I'm showing is yield deviations from a linear trend on corn yield using yields from 1960 through the projection for 2018. As you can see, there's a lot of variety in yield deviation over time. For this particular graph, I'm using 1997 through this year. Um, on the right hand side you see percent den is of week 34 so I'm getting at the idea that there's been a relatively quick maturity in the crop this year. The red dots you see are years when the week 34 percent den of the corn crop was similar or higher than this current year's level of 61. And when we look at these numbers we do see a few years where the yields above the um, linear trend estimate but when you take out the 2012 year, which was a very severe drought year, on average over 1997 in the six years remaining in the sample, average yield was 0.3 bushels per acre higher than trend. So when we see this kind of quick maturing crop normally, we don't see a huge positive yield above trend over the last 20 years. The one year in exception is 2016 we saw a 60% dent percentage of week 34 and we ended up with about a 5.6 bushels per acre above trend. To keep in mind, in that year, good to excellent conditions for the corn crop were 5 to 6 points higher than they currently are. So when we think about where will the corn yield be this year, the idea that we would be under the current 178.4 I think may be a pretty strong idea in the September crop production report is going to be interesting because we sort of sit in an area right now where a reduction in yield with the kind of strong consumption we've seen could lead to a price increase. In this figure I'm showing corn planted less harvested acres from 1997 through the projection in 2018. This year currently we have about 7.36 million acres is the difference which is about 149,000 acres less than the average. As of right now, even though we've seen some drought conditions in parts of Kansas and Missouri that have been severe, I don't see any real reduction in planted or harvested acres in major growing areas that would be significant enough to change the corn production level in a way that would see a price response. We may see some changes in planted and harvested acreage as the numbers get finalized by FSA as we move through the harvest but I don't think it's going to be very large so when we're thinking about what's going to happen with corn production this year it's coming down to yield. Last week we saw December corn prices approach contract lows that we haven't seen since around July 12th and despite the strong consumption numbers we've seen 
in the 2018-19 marketing year projection of stocks to use near 11%. Uh, corn prices continue to struggle to gain ground. I think a lot of this has to do with the yield projection. And we're at a point right now where any kind of decrease in yield projection, either way, upward or downward, I think we might see a significant price move. You know, currently, I see the market price in corn slightly higher than the 178.4, maybe near 180 bushels an acre. You know, with the ending stocks currently at about 1.68 billion bushels projection for 2018-19, any lowering of yield could have a significant price move as we move through harvest and into next year. So that September crop production report is the one to pay attention to. I'd like to thank you for your time. As always, you can find my weekly outlook and daily analysis of issues related to Corn Belt Farm Economics at farm.daily.illinois.edu. I look forward to seeing you around the state of Illinois.